Hey there, this is Vanessa Duberlay and welcome to my channel. Today I want to give you three editing tips for a software tool that I use when I do screen share with my video creating. And um, three of the things that we're going to cover is behaviors, transitions, and we're going to talk about the media bin. All of these things are on Camtasia. That is what I use. If you do not use Camtasia, these, these different features may be on what you're using and you can still get some benefit out of it. If you're not using anything, then this video will give you something to compare. If you're, if you happen to be looking at a different, a couple different editing software tools for video creating, then this is one you definitely want to look at. Make sure you take some time to subscribe to my channel where I have lots of tips on how to get started as a new YouTuber. I also have tips on how to start a new channel. So make sure you subscribe. I appreciate it. And let's jump in and find out about those editing tips. We're going to start right here. This is Camtasia. This is the editing software that I use. It's a one-time purchase, and I've had it for over three years now. Um, and then you get to upgrade um, through the years if you want to, but you really don't have to. This will allow me to videotape or record things that are on my screen. So I come into my Camtasia program, and then I go right over here, and I select record. Now, I do have a an, another camera hooked up to this, and I also have a different microphone hooked up, but you don't have to. When I first started using it, I just used the microphone and the camera that were right there on my laptop. So don't go out and buy a bunch of stuff until you're ready because there's so many different things out there and it gets really confusing and it can get really expensive because you think you have to have the best. Work your way up to what you think is the best. Now, I'm recording. What I'm going to do is go to a different page. Let's go to Amazon. Everybody knows what Amazon looks like. And what we're going to do here is just do a tutorial. So let's say you wanted to do a tutorial of Amazon or some other kind of program that is online. And as you can see, we're recording. Um, I'm going to show you all the different books that are available for YouTube, all right, how to use YouTube. So I just Googled YouTube books and all of these came up. I can sit here in my video and talk about the different options that are there. I can also go up here into the accounts and list and talk about the different accounts, different things in Amazon. As you can see, as I'm moving around and pointing to things, you can see them and I can talk to, about them. Now I'm going to go ahead and stop here and I'm going to take this recording and I'm going to put it into my Camtasia. So all that I have to do, I'm going to show you my um, little bar that pops up. I had it hidden at the bottom, but I'm just going to hit right here. As you can see, this is recording me. This here is the audio. This right here, if I want to minimize it and right here, if I want to delete, I just select that and I can pause here. I'm going to stop this video and I'm going to let it show up in Camtasia, then I'm going to show you different ways that we can edit it. Okay, so now we're in Camtasia. This is the video that we just edited. And I noticed at the beginning of the video, I was kind of getting ready. I didn't really talk yet because you can see right here where the audio is. You can just move this little line over right there to the beginning of that and delete everything in the beginning. So I'm going to go up to file or edit and it says separate audio and video and split all. We're going to split all. We want to get rid of everything in the beginning there, right? And you can see where the audio was split out. So we're, we're, we're deleting all this stuff in the beginning. It's got a line around it. And then I'm also going to take out the audio for the sake of this presentation. You would leave it there. You would not separate it, but I separated it out because I do not want it playing. So here, just so you can see real quick how it sounds. We're going to start right here. This is Camtasia. This is the ed all right, so we're going to get rid of that audio. We don't need it because I'm talking now. All right, so I'm going to show you three things. First, I want you to see that this is what your recording looks like, right? I can do whatever I want with this. I can keep that screencast there. I can keep my, my picture there that the camera picked up, or I can take that camera of me and take it off the screen. I can also enlarge this and only show me. So I have, those are editing choices that you have. You can put just your face, you can talk, or you can hide your face and just show the screen, or you can have both. So that's the cool thing about this. You're not limited to what your phone is doing where it's only picking up one thing at a time. So I'm gonna just push that kind of off to the side for now, because I wanna show you three features in here. One of the things that you can do is add behaviors, okay? Behaviors are when, <clears throat> I'm gonna bring this back where there's nothing in the back, 
I can put this behavior on top of my screen or I can just show you what it looks like on a blank screen but let's say um, subscribe now let's say I'm talking and I want to put a subscribe now button you know right down here we can go down and pick up um, let's pick up me talking let's pretend I'm doing an introduction that's kind of what you do right now as you can see I've got a microphone showing over here on the right we're gonna hide that we're gonna hide my outlets over there and then I want to put a subscribe button here okay so I can make it as big as I want it I can put it over here and I can make it pop in when I say subscribe now now one of the things I like to do sometimes is go to down here where it says annotations and I like to blur out the background so what I have to do is put the blurring on the bottom and the subscribe on the top see what I did there and now I can blur the background I can still keep talking you can hear it and then I can say hey subscribe now now the behavior that I'm going to add this here is um, sliding so we're going to uh, pretend I'm talking right and it slides in I'm talking in the back you can you're going to concentrate on that subscribe now and you're going to concentrate on the audio that's why I like to blur the picture out sometimes and it just gives it a little bit more variety now another thing that you can do let's move over here because this is really cool what I want you to see okay I want to show this one here I'm going to go back to the media bin these are pictures that I just took them off my desktop and drug them in they are copy there's no copyright issues on them because there's a way that you can find these types of pictures I'm going to make a video about that next week but until then I will link it once I have it made but right now if you're just watching it's not there yet but this is really cool I found a heart so let's say you're talking about something and you just want to do a pulsating heart I found just a plain heart I just googled it in images and then there's a way to make sure it's there's no copyright issues again it'll be in that video but let's go back to behaviors and it says pulsating this is so cool all right watch what it does I'm going to make it stretch out just a little bit longer I can make that picture stay there as long as I want and watch what happens look at that see there now I don't want it on top of all those other things so let's move it over here let's go back over here I'm going to add something else to this I'm going to go back to annotations and I'm going to go here and add some words okay I not that you would put this on your video but love you okay now I'm going to put a different behavior on this one you're going to see two behaviors at once and this one I'm going to do jump and fall okay now watch what happens watch both of them so the heart is pulsating the words are jumping and falling and you can put those on any part of your video you can make a video and put it into mp4 format and even send it to somebody in an email so don't think that you're only limited to using this just for YouTube or for videos that you might use be using for Facebook or Instagram or something like that all right so that's your behaviors okay your behaviors are they have to be added to an item or some text like this I can't add that behavior um, to the entire screen if that makes sense all right let's try a transition that was the second thing that I wanted to show you and transitions let's go all the way back all the way over here to the right okay you see where I'm talking let's say that I want to split that I'm talking I'm going to split right before my face I'm going to put a transition in and one that is, is popular that I like is a circle one right here I'm going to take this see how I'm dragging it I'm not dragging it to the screen but I'm dragging it here to where my where I am I'm not dragging it to the background because right now that background is not showing so watch what happens so I could stop talking about something and if I start talking about something else I can put that transition and let's try a different transition let's hit our back arrow I could say oh I didn't like that so I'm, I'm I'm using the eraser if that makes sense and let's try a different one let's say oh, I wasn't so sure about that so this is how easy it is to find which one that you want to use let's try a puzzle let's see what that one does I'm going to put it in the exact same spot okay I'm going to put the arrow on and watch what happens 
and there you go so it just it just gives it a little bit of a transition that one was a very light transition um, the other one was a little bit more um, evident now tip transitions are fun but i don't recommend using one or two in a video um, over and over again you'll hear people say it gets very distracting it can be a lot of fun and you'll add all these transitions and people for some reason don't like them personally they don't bother me but i hear that over and over and over so that's advice that I've heard. So I don't use more than just a couple, maybe three, if the video is really long, but not too many, okay? Third thing that I wanna show you in this editing, you have a media bin, so you can add these things like I was just telling you. Well, one of the features that I really love about Camtasia, which they just added, which encouraged me, um, enticed me to upgrade after three years, um, was the library. One of the things that kept happening every time I edited a video and I put all my pictures in there, everything that I needed, well, after I was finished with it, they would all leave, they would disappear. So now I can hold them in a library, which is kind of cool because look here, I have my outro for my channel. So at the end of my channel, I'm going to go all the way to the end. I always put this, this outro, and this is where you see maybe a little bit of music is playing, but you can take it, drag, well, I can drag it right here, right? And that's what I put at the end of my video. So that's called an end screen, or it's called an outro, whichever you prefer. Now you need to be careful that all my words stay in there. So there I go. All right. And then when I upload this, to YouTube, if you've never uploaded before, there is a thing called end screens, and that's where people will upload a playlist or another video and a subscribe button and different things like that. That's where that happens. It doesn't happen here, but you need to have like a background to put that on. So we call it the outro or the end screen. Now you only want that to be 20 inches long. So watch in the bottom left-hand corner. See how I'm stretching this longer, bigger, and the duration, I want it to go to 20 seconds and that it's a little bit over 20 which is fine okay so now when my video plays those playlists or those other videos that i want to pop up at the end will pop up because youtube will put them on there and they put them on the last 20 seconds so those are three features of this editing tool that i love to use i hope this was helpful hope you learned something new today um i'll see you on the next video and